the last class we discussed half adder and one bit full adder using basic gates as well as senior cell gate so today we will discuss how to construct an half subtractor as well as one bit full subtractor first we will see how to design half subtractor for that i will write a block diagram so through the block diagram so this is the problem i am going to be defining what is there in the problem in this problem it is having two inputs a and b so using half subtractor i am getting difference as well as borrow these are the two output in case of addition so one is sum and another one is the carry in case of subtraction one is the difference another one is the borrow for this problem definition according to the problem definition i have write the block diagram for this block diagram i am writing the truth table so in this truth table it is having a b and it is having a difference and a borrow these are the two outputs and two inputs so the combination is 0 0 0 1 1 0 and the 1 1 now here i am writing 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 what i am getting here i am getting the difference is 1 and for this i need a borrow also then borrow is also 1 so then 1 minus 0 here borrow not required 0 so 1 minus 0 difference is 1 now once i come to this 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 means the difference is 0 and borrow also 0 now for this i will write the equation so difference which is equal to so the area of interest is 1 1 correct so this one corresponds to a bar b plus this one is a b bar so finally i am getting a x or with b for the difference so for both adder and subtractor the sum and difference equation are the similar correct now we will see that similarly for the borrow so in case of borrow in case of borrow which is equal to the interest is this is the one then i am getting a bar b but in case of adder only ab we got in carry place but in case of borrow place we are getting a bar b so for this we need to construct an a logic diagram once i start constructing a logic diagram here i need one xor gate that is ab so this one is a x or b i am getting so here i need to tap this one i need to tap here i am getting an and gate then this become so here i need a bar b so here i will place in between i will place one not gate to get the a bar b so then here i am getting a bar b here and getting a bar this is for half subtractor similarly we will see how to design a full subtractor now i will come and i will construct this side one bit one bit full subtractor in this case again first i will start with the block diagram the problem i am one which i am going to be defining so again in case of full subtractor it need a and b and one more is borrow in in this case we are using borrow in so output of this borrow in or if you confusing with the while constructing and design so you can take c in also c in we can consider as borrow in also so then here i am getting the difference and here i am getting the borrow so instead of borrow in i am using c in now or you can use b in also that is left to you because some student may get confused if i written b in so that's why i am using c in only so for this i need to construct a truth table so in this case a b c in is same as borrow in c in or we can say it is a b in borrow in you not supposed to confuse with that okay then i'll write the difference 
and the borrow. These two are the output and these three are the input in this case. Now we have a three combinations as I said for 0, 0, once I am assuming input is 0, C in is 0, once I am assuming C in equal to 1, borrow in equal to 0 and borrow in equal to 1. The next is same again for 0, 1 condition, once I am assuming 0, once I am assuming 1. Similarly for 1, 0, 1, 0 condition, once I am assuming 0 and once I am assuming 1. Similarly for 1, 1 condition, once I am assuming 0 and once I am assuming 1. So in this case, now I need to fill out, so we need to do subtraction, 0 minus 0, 0 minus 0, we are getting difference also 0, a bar also 0, 0 minus 0, 0 only, 0 minus 1, we need a borrow and the difference is 1, similarly, 0 minus 1, yes, 0 minus 1, obviously we are getting, we need a borrow for this. Okay, 0 minus 1, we need a borrow for and difference is 1 and 1 minus 0, difference is 1. Next, we will see 0 minus 1, yes, of course, I need a borrow and result is difference is 1. 1 minus 1, difference is 0. Next, we will see 1 minus 0, borrow is 0 and difference is 1. Again, 1 minus 0, so difference is 1 and borrow is 0. Next, we will see this 1 minus 0. Difference is 1, there is no borrow. 1 minus 1, difference also 0, borrow also 0. Next we will see, 1 minus 1, 1 minus 1, difference is 0, borrow also 0, 0 minus 0, both we are getting 0, 0. Now once we come to this, 1 minus 1, difference is 0, 0 minus 1, difference is 1 and we need a borrow. Okay, this is the complete truth table. For this truth table, now we need to construct a Boolean equation. So first I will take the difference equation. So in this difference equation, interest is this one, this one, and this one, and this one. So what I am getting, see this one you can simplify with the help of KMAP or Boolean equation or the Boolean algebra. So here I will use Boolean algebra. So here A bar, B bar, and this is the C in. C in or B in you can take. Then for this case, A bar, B, C in bar, plus A, B bar, C in bar. Then the last case, A, B, C in. So here, similarly, this two I will take, this two I will take in a pair. So in this C in is the common, here I am getting A bar B bar plus A B plus in this case C in bar I will take out. So here I am getting A bar B plus A B bar. So finally I will write C in A X nor of B this one C in bar A X or of B. Finally I am getting this is look like a B bar plus A bar B. So finally, the equation A X or with B X or with C in. So this is what my difference. Now similarly, we need to do same thing for borrow. In case of borrow, so this is final borrow equation. In this borrow equation, so I will take these two or in one group. So in this case, C in is the common. C in I will take out. So this become A bar B bar plus A B. Okay. Plus in this case, A bar is the A, A bar B is the common. I will take out. Then this become C in bar plus C in. So obviously we know that this tends to 1. Correct. Then finally, I am getting the equation C in A, A B X nor plus A bar B. This is what we are getting. So this is what my borrow equation. 
So for these two equation, I need to construct a logic diagram. In this case, the logic diagram is pretty simple for the difference. So we needed to XOR gate. This is the XOR gate. A and B. Next, this will get connected using one more XOR gate. See, this is the difference. So then this is C in or we can say the borrow in. Then I need to make A bar B. So here I will take A bar then the B. So I need one AND gate to do that. Then A X nor B. So this is A X or output. If I place one NOT gate that become X nor. Then it should multiply with C in. So I will take. Then again I need one more AND gate here. And finally this to get OR using an OR gate. So here I am getting the borrow output. So this is a one bit full subtractor design. Tractor logic diagram using basic gates and the exclusive gates. Now how to construct a 1 bit full, full subtractor using universal gate. So already we discussed in the 1 bit full adder. So here straight away we will show how to construct the full subtractor using a universal gate. So AB is there. So straight away we will tap from here. So this one I will take and these two get connected. And here on NAND gate, here on NAND gate. So here this is one OR gate output, XOR gate output. So this XOR gate output get connected with one more bit. So then here I am getting one more XOR gate, it need to be cascaded. Then here I will take a one more NAND gate. Here I will take one more NAND gate. These two get added. Here I will get one more NAND gate. Here I am getting a difference. Similarly, in this case, see here I need to take A bar B. A bar B means A B whole bar, two bars means here I can take, but for the difference, for the borrow case, I need to tap here. So if you place the vectors for each and every intermediate stage you will get to know that because already we discussed in the adder stage so that's why here no need to explain once again so that's why i'm skipping that part and for this the for second stage of c in a x or b all bar all two double bars i need to tap here and if i place one more nand gate i'm getting borrow here if you do the intermediate stage the whatever the output we are getting in the each and every stage output so we will get to know that clearly what is the borrow and what is the difference we are getting so this is all about this is the figure for figure for one bit full subtractor design using universal gate What is that universal gate? Is the NAND gate. Even you can try for NOT gate.